put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. To place. Good morning, good morning, morning, good morning, morning. Good morning, viewers. We just had about 7.43 a.m. And welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Coming to you here live from the Port Mall in Scarborough, Tobago. As we continue in this segment, we are happy to welcome on set with us Acting Inspector Kathleen Sterling of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Good morning to you and welcome. Hi, good morning, Julian, and welcome to you this morning and also the listening viewers this morning. All right. As we get the conversation started, you know, we had to start with the hard things. <laughs> Immediately, we had a situation where there uh, again another incident that took place here in Tobago um, last week. Tell us the, the, the update as it relates to that incident. Well, Julian, that, that will be the report of shooting at Wongden at Lowlands, Tobago. Presently, the Chauvin Police Station have several leads and they are following those who have actively. Uh, we should have a, a, a positive result soon. But we, as we see, we've seen violent crimes are increases in Tobago, specifically with firearms. And, you know, we're asking persons who know persons have firearms to communicate with the police, even though you want to do it anonymously, you could call 800 tips. Uh, there's someone, some police officer you may know that you could give that information. We really need that help because we cannot do it alone. We need each and every input and you all are our stakeholders. So we are depending on that level of help to solve these violent crimes that we are seeing perpetrating in the Tobago space. All right. And we're also at the point where, unfortunately, we are just in the month of February and we're already, I think it is three or four murders in um, for the year. Uh, any updates or progress uh, in, in that regard for our viewers and listeners? Well, Julian, what I know that the Homicide uh, Division Department in Tobago are actively pursuing leads and uh, we cannot say, if, I cannot say for sure when that will happen, but we know we have active leads and we are pursuing. So hopefully with that, we'll have some solution in the near future with those investigations. All right. We're really looking forward to hearing about that, you know, the constant reminder and to clearly send that signal out there that uh, this is a fight against those who are trying to disrupt the peaceful living that we are accustomed to here on this island uh, in Tobago. Now, as, as, as we go forward, one of the other areas we want to look at this morning is the topic of the TTPS on stolen vehicles. Um, and for us here, um, you know, in Tobago, in Trinidad and Tobago, etc., you have a situation and sometimes um, a vehicle gets uh, stolen and we see now people are attempting to utilize social media and other means. And you see a mass message are going out far and why this vehicle has just been stolen if you see it on the roadway etc i want to get from the perspective of the ttps uh, how do you treat with those kinds of uh, reports in an active and urgent manner so as to seek to uh, resolve the situation when it comes to stolen vehicles so julian firstly i must say tobago we have a low percentage of stolen vehicles in tobago so uh in terms of us pursuing and dealing with stolen vehicles. As you said, we, we, we would broadcast, report has been made, we broadcast the vehicle number, where the vehicle was stolen from, and if persons, firstly, we do it over our medium, which is our uh, Tobago OC, that's where we send out the, the information via all police vehicles on that are traversing the roadway. Secondly, well, mostly personnel, uh, individuals will put it on the social media, which is accepted because we, we accept all help that is available. And social media is one of the medium that we use to send out that broadcast on, on, about stolen vehicles. Stolen ve most stolen vehicles we have in Tobago, you know, mostly we have um, the rentals and these rental owners renting their vehicles for persons coming from Trinidad. Uh, what we ask in these rental owners to do is to make sure and take the necessary information, driver's permit information. If you photocopy a person's driver's permit, you could communicate with the TTPS to ensure that this person is saying that, well, hey, I'm from central Trinidad, and that is the correct information because we have persons with driver's permit with address you know you live in 
Tobago and your address is in Trinidad, but yet you have a Tobago address. So we, you know, when you call the TTPS, we could give you that information. Well, here this person is really from Tobago and not Trinidad, and they're from um, Central and not Port of Spain. So you know, it helps you in knowing where your vehicle is or where your vehicle would be. And we have the problem of renting vehicles in Tobago and it end up in Trinidad. So what we're asking persons is to ensure that, you know, we have chuffing, checking device yes. within our vehicle. That was my next question. Are you, do you suggest strongly that persons install those devices? Yes, yeah, strongly. So at every time you know where a vehicle is. So, you know, you rent a vehicle for Tobago. Next thing you, you're looking at a checking device and you're seeing it on the port. You know, you shut down that vehicle immediately because it is heading to Trinidad. Yes. So we're asking people to invest in your investment because you cannot spend hundreds of thousands for a vehicle and then you want to put no security on that vehicle so we're asking people to use the, the 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 medium that is available to secure your vehicle to ensure that your vehicle remain in tobago and even in trinidad because you know we travel from here to trinidad and we go places and sometimes our vehicle is stolen, but we could track our vehicles because we have that system within the vehicle. Excellent. I want to ask you very quickly before we wrap on this interview, um, any specifics people need to have? So my vehicle gets stolen now and I call the TTPS. What's the immediate information I need to provide to the TTPS beyond the, the, the vehicle plate, the car number? Well, the color, the make of the vehicle was the last where the vehicle was stolen from. Uh, if if, if, you know, you have a conflict with anyone with a vehicle, because sometimes it's just conflict and someone take your vehicle and you don't know. If your vehicle was locked, if, if you could find the keys for the vehicles, because we would want to know if the person used other mechanism to move your vehicle other than, than, than using a key, all right? Uh, those are the information that we will ask. And we'll ask you to call around to make sure that, because, you know, we have a lot of people Sometimes we say we have a stolen vehicle and it's not really a stolen vehicle. Somebody used your vehicle for other reasons. So somebody, uh, 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 villagers, maybe a young guy want to go to a party and he saw your, see your vehicle because you didn't lock it properly or you left the keys inside the vehicle and you use the opportunity to use the vehicle to go and have a lime and bring back your vehicle or leave it where you can get it so sometimes it's not a stolen vehicle but using a vehicle without the owner's consent yeah but in terms of stolen vehicles which is very rare in tobago but we still have to be take precautions to ensure that our vehicle uh, remains with us and we could access it at all times all right Thank you very much there again, folks. Acting Inspector uh, Kathleen Sterling of the TTPS joining us here on set this morning. And most certainly that gentle reminder to us out there, folks, we got to take on that responsibility. I just see that ad running in my head now about the chances we take in Tobago. And it's interesting, when I drive in Tobago, uh, you know, I may leave my vehicle and, and may not be worried as much in Trinidad. Before I take a step off from the door, I'm making sure to lock it immediately. <laughs> so let us have the same practice right here in terms of our very own responsibility don't take it for granted at all let us make sure that we take on the very first responsibility and should you uh, be the victim uh, you know of crime your vehicle has gone out when you contact the ttps make sure immediately you have the vehicle number the make of the vehicle and relevant details to provide uh, when making that report most certainly and you are also encouraged very good advice Get the tracker if you need to, especially for those who are involved uh, in business. Very good advice this morning uh, coming out from Acting uh, Inspector. And certainly, viewers, we continue to connect with each and every one of you. We look forward to our upcoming interview as we speak to Christopher Nathan. And he's the CEO of a Coco Velvet International, a director making style program. We look forward to those upcoming discussions and we speak the Miss Tobago 2024 finals that takes place this Sunday. So certainly viewers, we want to thank you so much for your continued love and support and to remind you that this is your opportunity to share the live, share the live, share the live. We'll be right back.